Hello everyone, this is Sean Thomas, and we are looking at Ark Survival Evolves dossiers for dinosaurs that have not yet released, the uh, Leo Pleurodon. Alright, so we've got an underwater dino here. This is uh, a carnivore, temperament's patient. Let's take a look at the uh, icons it's showing oxygen, so it'll likely help you out with breathing underwater. And yes, you can tame it. Uh, and I don't see a saddle listed, but I imagine you can ride it based on the picture. So looking at the dossier, we've got the Lyopleuron is a mid-sized ocean predator, typically between 20 and 25 feet long. It mostly hides within the reefs, waiting to ambush prey that swims by. Due to its low acceleration and medium speed, Lyopleuron tends not to cause uh, prey to, uh, you know, catch the prey rather. It uh, initially uh, has a devastating chomp attack and so the species on the island almost seems to be magical. The reptile's skin secretes an oil that when absorbed through skin contact makes the rider, there you have it, you can ride it, process oxygen more efficiently for extreme diving. When traveling the ocean for resources, like Lyopleuridon will show you the way. Alright, so you can ride it and by riding it, it looks like you will have uh, better oxygen use. So the concern there might be when you get off of it, if it doesn't have that ability to keep some of that uh, oxygen preserving power going for a period of time you want to be able to get off get back on quickly so that you can harvest and not lose out on all your oxygen or else you're going to drown all right so domesticated neither the fastest swimmer nor the most powerful ocean predator leopardon still has its uses for those wanting to stay underwater for extended periods of time many tribes use leopardons for long duration oil and oyster harvesting trips often those who don't believe in the leopardons qualities are shunned Alright, so this might be something that you use in conjunction with other tames. Uh, for example, the Diplocalus, you could put one of those on your mouths and it effectively acts as a Lazarus Chatter. So if you combine these things, if you have like a combo of using a Lazarus Chatter, using a Diplocalus, and riding one of these guys, it probably will magnify your ability to stay underwater quite significantly. Um, it would be neat if it reduces the uh, durability hit to oxygen tanks as well. If you're uh, not going to be using, you know, say an oxygen tank lasts an hour and a half, if you've got other things going for you, such as riding one of these Leopleurodons, if it reduces the durability hit, that could be uh, another beneficial uh, quality of using this. Uh, it mentions it not being a very fast swimmer. I'm not so sure I'd want to move at a slower clip under the water. Uh, sometimes the shark even feels too slow, so I'm not, I'd have to see just how slow it is. Maybe it's as fast as the shark, in which case I wouldn't mind it so much. It mentions it's got a devastating chomp, so hopefully that means its attack damage is up there. And uh, it's a 20 to 25 feet long. It's considered a mid-sized ocean predator. I guess it's around the same size as a shark uh, by that statement. Uh, so likely a pretty good contender against plesiosaurs. Mosasaurus 1 or 2 might give you a hard time. Depends on the level. Alright, so I uh, hope you found this useful and uh, look forward to the release of this just to see how good it is. And uh, underwater, uh, it's probably good for people try starting out that haven't yet gotten to the oxygen tanks and need to get at that uh, oil and pearls and some crystal too in the underwater mines. Alright, well please mash that like button if you found this helpful. Please subscribe, it's free to do so. These things help me out greatly. And uh, if you have any comments, I'll be sure to respond and look forward to providing you uh, viewer-driven content in the future. Have a good one. Okay.